While the global BDS movement is trying to stop artists like Radiohead from performing in Israel, one Israeli duo is fighting back. Joining me today in the studio is Noam Jacobson and Gadi Weisbart, founding members of the Staying Alive comedy duo that brings the story of Israel to non-Israelis using laughter. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having us. us. All right, so what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what inspired you to start writing comedy in English in this beautiful country of Israel, where Hebrew and Arabic are the languages of choice? Um, we have English background. I mean, uh, my father is South African and his family is from England, right? Yeah. Um, we have a show in Hebrew that we're performing for a right. few years. Uh, and uh, there was one day that we talked about and, and we realized that both of us have been thinking about the situation in campuses mostly around the world and mainly in the U.S. and, and Europe. And it bothered both, both of us. We really wanted to do something about it. And uh, comedy is our language. This is what we can do. So uh, we decided to do a show in English uh, that will be funny, first of all funny, and then we'll confront the issues. We had uh, great luck to, uh, to join forces with the world Mizrahi. And we have uh, an amazing writer, director called Sarel Peterman. And we have a show that uh, we love and we talk about the BDS movements and uh, the, well, the biased media. Well, I mean, comedy is one of the best ways, I think, to break down barriers. And I remember when I was in college, I saw, I can't remember the name of the comedian now, but he, he was a Muslim comedian who was talking about Israeli-Palestinian affairs, and it was amazing. It was just one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. The end, everybody was hugging each other. It was a very positive experience. So I've, I've done for many years the, the, the Latma show, which, uh, which was an online satire show. We've done like for four years, so. Yeah, uh, you can see, I mean, it's, there's very visceral online. reactions to, I, I mean, laughing is like the, the, the solution to everything, I think, yeah. but. And you, and you remember it. Right, you do remember it, that is for sure. So, Staying Alive, what inspired Staying Alive more specifically? And tell us about what Staying Alive entails. I, I'll tell you, because we're talking about the story of Israel. And the story of Israel is very simple. In 19, 1948, after the terrible Holocaust, we founded a state. And immediately, all the countries around us, seven armies, attacked us. They tried to destroy us, but we decided that we are not giving up, that we are. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive. In 1967, they tried again with all their might, but in six days, we won the war. We are. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive. In 1973, in the middle of Yom Kippur, the highest holiday of the Jewish people, Egypt and Syria attacked us, but we are. Staying alive. 1982, attacks from Lebanon. Staying alive. 1991, dozens of rockets of missiles land on Tel Aviv, a present from Saddam Hussein. Staying alive. In 1995, a Nobel Peace Prize in 200 suicide bombers. Staying alive. And in the last 15 years, we've got tens of thousands of rockets from Syria, uh, Lebanon, uh, Gaza, uh, Sinai, uh, but we are. Staying alive. And right now, as we speak, thanks to the deal with the West, Iran is working on a nuclear weapon. But we look at the future, and we know that it is. Tragedy. What? No. I... Well, the is going in the candy. Tragedy. No, no, staying alive. But it's a nuclear bomb. Yeah, but it's going to be okay. But you know? it's a nuclear bomb. You're optimistic. You know? It's a nuclear bomb. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so things aren't always <laughs> so funny in the end of the show. I mean, these are, some, <laughs> these are some difficult topics to talk about. I mean, making a nuclear bomb funny probably uh, is not We're doing busy. our best. You're doing your The best. situation is not easy in Israel. We right. know that. And, and we're not talking about uh, right or left. It's not a matter of right or left, it's a matter of right or wrong. Would you say that, I mean, this is what's interesting to me because I find commercials here, TV shows, there, the humor here is unbelievable. I mean, it really is funny and it stands out. I would say in comparison to ads that you've seen in different countries around the world, do you think that Israelis are perhaps more funny because of the fact uh, that there is so much conflict here that we're dealing with? This is like a, a coping mechanism of sorts? Uh, I, I think the Jewish nation uh, has always known how to use humor as a, as a weapon. And that's the, the best weapon we can have uh, to, to uh, cope with a, with a very delicate situation. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we're trying to do it uh, in a very um, delicate way. Right. But, uh, but it is comedy, and you know... Uh, it is satire. It satire. is satire, and in, in satire, you, you poke the strong. We, right. we're, not, we're not going after the weak. We're not going... Uh, you won't find in our show, we will not be making fun of uh, Palestinians. 
Uh, but uh, we will be making fun of the, the, the BDS leaders. And we are talking about the, the, the singers and the, the musicians who are trying to boycott Israel. Mm -hmm. And we have a character in our show called David Boycott, who is... Uh, boycott. Yes. No reference. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and he, he is uh, actually, he's, he himself, he, uh, he said that he is half Jewish and half human, and, uh, which is saying nothing about him, but, uh, but about the BDS. <laughs> well, so movement. here's my question for you. For those of our viewers who would like to see one of your shows, when is your next show and where is it? Definitely. Yes. Go. We are doing tours in the U.S. We're performing a little bit in Israel, but uh, uh, the show is... As it, we, we built it, we wrote it to be abroad. We want to go to campuses and to communities, uh, Jewish and non-Jewish, uh, around the world. And we are now working on building we're, our tour. Exactly, we're building it. We we're don't building have tours. Tours. All right, so we're going to have to keep up with you guys. Okay. You can contact, know. anyone can contact us and uh, bring us to, to them. Staying Alive, Perfect. an Israeli comedy show on Facebook. That's our page. There and we go. Please contact us because we want to come. All right, guys, I'm going to check you guys out myself on Facebook. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for Thank having you. us.